Hey guys, we're back today, and today we're gonna blast arms. All right guys, what's going on? So we're back with another home band workout. I am not at home, as you can see, I'm at the studio. I have a friend that kind of lets me in to do some work here and there, but I'm gonna show you guys what you can do at home for an arm workout with just some bands, okay? The same way, if you guys haven't seen them, I have four other videos out for shoulders, back, uh, chest and legs. And um, also a lot of the question I'm getting the most is where do I get the bands? We're gonna put the link right here, elitefts.com. The bands are probably the best from there, the highest quality and they have the stiffest uh, resistance, which is what you want so we can get some actual work done. So we're gonna do buys and tries today. It's gonna be pretty easy. Uh, a lot of the same stuff you've, you could probably think of, but I'm just gonna go through and show you just in case you couldn't figure it out or didn't think of a couple things that I thought of. So. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start with biceps. The first thing we're gonna do is just a regular curl, just like a barbell curl, we're gonna try and mimic it, okay? Now, the red band, this is a different company, but the thinner the band, the less resistance. So this is not a strong resistance, I'm just using it as a demo. But if you're at home and you wanna increase the resistance, you can double the bands, use two of these bands, or use a thicker band, however you wanna do it, to get the resistance that's right for you. But all we're gonna do is just gonna step on the band, right? Both feet, step on the band, and we're just gonna use it just like we would a barbell, okay? Now this is not gonna be a lot of resistance because it's one of the lightest bands, but like I said, it's very simple. Just grab two of these, or just grab a thicker band and you can increase the resistance. So you wanna try and keep it about shoulder width apart though. You don't wanna to go too close in, or you're gonna get a lot of brachialis, a lot of outer head of the bicep, which is not bad. But if you wanna get the overall you want to get the general both heads of the bicep. You want to keep a little bit wider grip, shoulder width. And then if you were really wide, you're going to get more of the inside of the bicep. So we're just going to go shoulder width and you're just going to rep it out, okay? And you want you to stick the top, get a really good squeeze on the bicep. Make, make sure you make use of the band. When you, when you stretch it out, you're going to get full resistance, maximum resistance. And I want you to hold that peak so you get all the tension on the bicep. Just for one second, and you're going to control it on the negative, okay? So we're just going to go through one set and I'll show you guys how it's done. So that's a way to mimic the standing barbell curl. Now, if you don't like doing barbell curls, another exercise you can do is, a lot of people do a standing, bar, a stand, a standing dumbbell curl. Same thing, you're just gonna use one hand on one band, okay? So you're gonna step on the band, you have it there, and now there's too much, you see there's too much slack here, right? So all you're gonna do is wrap the band around your wrist, okay? Now you've shortened the band and created more resistance. Now you can do a single arm dumbbell curl, okay? Just gonna do this. And if it's still not enough, if it's still not enough slack, just wrap it around again. Okay, so now I wrapped it around my wrist twice. I shortened the band even more. Now this is gonna give me full resistance. Okay guys, we're back for the third exercise and we're gonna do a spider curl or a preacher curl. Depends what you wanna call it, but the angle is more of a spider curl. So all you're gonna do is take your band you're gonna throw one, one leg on top. You're gonna to put it underneath the chair, okay? Put it underneath the chair all the way through. And then you're gonna step on it with this foot too, okay? So you got it under both feet. And you're gonna grab it through the middle of the chair. So, you, so I have that hooked up. Okay, and then you use the back of the chair as your bench where you do your spider curls over that. Okay, so just hang both arms over the chair. Grab the, the band shoulder width apart. Make sure your chair can hold you or you're gonna end up in one of those gym fail videos. And then just curl up. All right guys, if you don't have a chair that height, you have a taller chair, you can do it standing up, leaning over the chair. If you don't have a chair at all, which if you don't have a chair, you got something wrong with your life, but if you don't have a chair, just 
So you can stand on it like that. And then you're gonna spread it apart. Then you're gonna lean over, dig your elbows into your knees, wrap the band once around, and then you're gonna curl. All right guys, the last movement for biceps is gonna be kind of gonna try and mimic an incline dumbbell curl. So you're gonna get your chair, set up your chair, wrap your band. You can do it on the bottom of like your, like a bottom of a bed post or bottom of your couch leg or something like that. Something that's not gonna move. Just wrap it down, wrap it up down there. And then just sit in your chair. So your arm is actually stretched out behind you because we're trying to work the stretch of the bicep. We're gonna try and work the load under stretch. So pull yourself a good distance from the couch or whatever it is you have it hooked up to. Just grab the band like that. And then you're just gonna try and sit straight. And just. All right, guys, so now we crush biceps. We're gonna work on triceps. It's gonna be a little bit trickier. Now, you can either find a doorway or if you have like a, a pole or something in your garage, you can wrap the band above that. Now, if you have a doorway, you can always wrap this band inside of itself into like a little knot, cinch it up in your doorway so that it stays, and you can use that as a pull down there. I'm gonna pretend that you have a bar somewhere in your garage or somewhere you can hook this up, okay? So all we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the band over. We're gonna pull it inside of itself so we have it cinched up, okay? Now, like I said, you can do this in a doorway so that the band is stuck in the doorway and you can pull that way, just be careful. Uh, don't, don't just hang it from the top of a door and start pulling, the door will come off the hinges. Try and cinch it up into a doorway so that it's stuck in the doorway and that way you can't hurt yourself. Or like I said, if you have a bar in your, in your garage or somewhere you can hang it up from, that's your best bet. Now, once you do that, we're just gonna mimic a tricep press down, okay? And hit, put our hands inside like this. And you're just gonna get close, slight lean, out, shoulders back. We're not gonna put our shoulders forward, shoulders back, and we're just gonna press down, okay? Now, if you wanna make it even trickier, when you pull down or when you press down, you can pull your hands apart. That will increase the contraction even further and, and make it even harder, okay? So this, you're gonna get a lot of good resistance from this. And one of the things a lot of people don't realize about bands, when you're using free weights, there are points in the rep range that are loose, where like the weight's not as tough. Like if, for example, if you're doing a bicep curl, it'll be really hard at the bottom, but once you get to about here, there's nothing at this point, right? The thing with the bands is, you're gonna get tension from the very top all the way to the very bottom. So take your time and feel the tension. Don't just rep through them as fast as you can. The point of the bands is to actually go a little bit, be explosive, but peak, get that full peak contraction and control your negatives. So you get the full resistance of the bands all the way through the rep range. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do some press downs, okay? Down and out. Okay guys, so the press down is gonna work the front side of the tricep or the short head of the tricep, but the meat of the tricep is on the back side. So this muscle back here, when you can develop that long head of the tricep, that's what's really gonna make your arms look really, really big. That's the, probably the largest muscle in your, in your arm, okay? So when you do an overhead extension of any sort, that's usually gonna work the long head of your tricep. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the band, step on it, and we're gonna put it above our head like this, okay? So it's just right behind me, if you can see, it's just directly behind my back. We try, and keep our, try and keep our elbow 
straight up and down. We don't want to do this. We want to try and stay here, okay? It's going to be pretty hard, so you got to make sure you have a pretty uh, loose band, and then just go straight up. All right guys, so by now we should have a really good pump in the tricep. And I like to do the one that is my best mass builder third. I like to warm up my elbows and everything. So press downs, the standing overhead, we'll get my elbows warm, get the blood pumping in the tricep, kind of get you into that like building mode. So we're gonna mimic a skull crusher, okay? For you know, those of you who don't know what skull crusher is, it's a lying barbell extension, lying overhead extension. Um, and we're gonna mimic it with this band. If you are super, super strong, use a thicker band or use two bands. And if you're a beginner and you're weak or you're trying to get strong, use a thinner band, okay? But I'm gonna use this for demonstration. So we're just gonna throw it behind our back, just like you would if you were training chest, okay? Then, all right, so once you got it around your back, you just wanna put it onto your palms like this, okay? It's a little different than when we did chest. When we did chest, it went around the thumb. This time we're gonna go straight around the palm, okay? And then just gonna sit down. So once you're on the ground, get here. You're gonna go straight up like a, like a chest press, but then you're just gonna bend from the elbow, okay? Here. All right, so one more thing. If you wanna make it hard on yourself, so what you saw we did was we were just going straight up and straight down, okay? If you wanna make it a little hard on yourself, but you can't use a thicker band, go straight up, take your hands back a little bit and go down with a neutral grip, okay? And then just go up at a, at a 45 to 60 degree angle. Okay, triceps by now are fried, but because the triceps are the bigger part of the bigger part of the arm, I want to do one extra set for triceps. I usually do, even when, when I'm in the gym, I usually do three exercises for biceps and four for triceps. So this is gonna be your finishing tricep movement. Now, if you, as you can see, I have a lighter band here, okay? These are Everlast. I don't want a really strong band for this because it's gonna be hard to do. So I grabbed a lighter band and all you're gonna do is like I said, at the bottom of your couch leg or uh, you know, whatever you can find to wrap it around, just cinch it up like that, okay? And step back until it's, until the tension is good enough for you. And then we're just gonna do some kickbacks. All right guys, so that's arms. My arms are blasted and not even, I didn't even do the whole workout. I'm just showing you demonstrations. So I can only imagine if I was doing three or four sets per exercise, uh, my arms would be toast right now. So listen, just because, as I say at every band workout I've put up so far, one of the things that you wanna make sure we're doing right now is maintaining, okay? Don't think just because I can't gain 10 pounds of muscle in this off period that I shouldn't do anything and I should be sitting on my ass because you will lose your gains, right? But if you're doing anything just like this, just some band stuff to create tension and really make the muscle work, you might not gain an inch on your arms, but you're gonna maintain the muscle that you, hit, that you do have, okay? And you're gonna be better than the guys who sat on their ass this whole time when you get back to the gym. So this might look fluffy, it might look stupid, it might look like it's not effective, but trust me, if you do it, like I said, I got a pump just from doing one set of each. So imagine if you did like a full workout with real intensity, it would really make a difference, okay? So go to hostile.com, check out 
the full workout there, you, you can find it, all the sets and reps, everything with instructions for each, each exercise. And go to Elite FTS to buy your bands. That's where I get mine. That's where I think the, mo the highest quality bands are. And uh, aside from that, guys, just train hard. Stay on your diets. I know it's quarantine time, so everybody's eating a cake here and there and a pizza here and there. It's cool. Everyone's gonna fall off a little bit, but just do your best to keep your gains and stay on track, okay? And until the next video, thanks for watching. We'll see you again.